talking about balls deep. I'm talking about balls deep. I'm talking about balls deep in love. What is up, Fox? It is I, Jet, here to do a video with you. I've been quiet the past few days or so because I've been trading places into another room because we're gonna be painting my office. Yeah, finally. I've only been living here for like a couple years. But anyways. Amberlynn has dropped us another video and, well, I can't resist. It's not a mukbang. So, I have reappeared like an asshole genie. I've appeared. You guys know how I like to do my videos. We watch a video together, like a family. We cringe in unison, again, like the family that we are. Big giant asshole family. Comments where comments are due. And then, you know, as it's Amber Lynn, comments are usually due. So let us put our happy faces on, act like we want to be here, because there's work to be done. The Lord's work. And let's get this show started. Everybody get your alcoholic beverages in hand, or coffees, or whatever you have, or a lobotomy. And let's watch this. As I say, as usual, might be fun. But I guess some people find piercing their nipples fun as well as getting their balls tased fun. So I guess fun is subjective. So here we go. Hey guys! I always love it when you're smiling and happy. That always means that stupid things are about to be puked out of your mouth. Oops. I fucking hate you sometimes. I'm not saying hi to you still. And you know what you did. So you guys have been requesting a vlog. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I didn't request a vlog. I just asked you to not eat on camera. Because it was like watching a snuff film. That is what I asked for. I just would like to <clears throat> let you know what I actually put in as my request. I asked to not watch a snuff film. That's all I, that's all I said. So before I start, this stuff I'm actually getting rid of to Goodwill or something. And this, these are boxes from Amazon, which I'm actually about to show you what they are from. So, um, as you guys know, I used to lug all of my makeup in a bag, which distinctively, it was this bag. Just, that's how I had all my makeup. Sorry, my little wrist thing is in the way. Let's count how many times she brings up that wrist brace, shall we? Because I guarantee this won't be the first time. And that's literally just how I had it. And I'm over it, so. I wanna show you guys my new setup. Do keep in mind, there is a lot that I need to fix regarding it. I'm still like just testing it out, but these are for, this is for the girls who love makeup and who need ideas of how to storage it. I finally was just like, you know what? I'm gonna figure this out on my own and this is what I came up with. So. My vanity, all my makeup. Okay, so first of all, this is actually a makeup thing or you can use it for anything really. Um, all I did was search makeup organizer on Amazon and a lot of things popped up, but this one, I was like, oh my God. I'm not a handy girl whatsoever, but I put this together. It was super easy. So it was super easy, barely an inconvenience. So I just have it 
I, I don't even know. <laughs> like, these are tall things. These are like blushes and highlighters. I have some rings that I wear. Blushes and highlighters. Glitter. Nail polish. Um, beauty blenders, whatever you want to call them. We have some lotion and some hair stuff. And I always need a bobby pin or a hair tie. So these are actually candle holders. Oh my God, this is so embarrassing. I was petting on the cats and it's all like hairy. If anyone's keeping track, that's the second time. Maybe your intention go towards that wrist brace. So remember, she hurt her hand. And that's the second time she's going to bring your attention to it. Um, these are actually candle holders where I put hair ties and bobby pins. Um, yeah, I just think this is so cute. I just can't. Okay, so you guys, this is one of my most favorite purchases besides that cutie back there. This is made to hold your brushes. A lot of girls have their brushes like this and these right here this gets dusty right here when I know some of my brushes are dirty I have to take care of that um but when they're open like this and out dust particles get on it dust gets on it maybe cat hair gets on it maybe a fly lands on it you know um and you don't really think of that all the time so this is made for brushes so you can just impact them in here bam and it comes with these really cute like crystal things uh there's pink ones and other colors by this i just thought this was like the perfect color okay so what you're saying is that this was already a thing so that so that brush thing was already a thing so what the fuck were you talking about? You you wanted to set up a vanity and all this shit, but couldn't figure it out? Like you needed written directions, so you just decided to figure it out yourself. But these are makeup organizer and a brush caddy that was already made for it? It looks like you didn't have to go very far till someone gave you some fucking ideas, now did it? These are two items that are already made to organize makeup shit. Wow. Looks like you weren't left in the dark for too long. Looks like someone shined the light on you and pointed the way the fuck out. Thank God for that. <laughs> Just getting scared there. So for my eyeshadows, I just have this container that's actually meant for the kitchen. So, oh yeah, by the way, I got this on Amazon, but this is just in the kitchen aisle. It's meant to go like in your fridge or whatever, but I was like, um, no, I have an even better idea. I used to have it in my fridge. Don't worry. I washed it and all that, but I have all of my eyeshadows in this big ones small ones etc etc and my newest is iconic london that's the newest one i got my grandma had one of those although it wasn't from the kitchen it was made for it she found it in sears it was a tray that sat on her little dresser it had a mirror bottom though and that's what she kept all her makeup on it looked almost like that except it wasn't as cheap they still sell them these days. Probably could have found it on Amazon. Oh, and I forgot. You, you and them thinkings, you just got them thoughts in there. You're an original person that gets them thoughts and you just be thinking things and stuff. Anyways, so how I have my lipsticks in a candy jar. I randomly was like, how am I going to do my lipsticks? And I was like, you know what? I know exactly how I want it. I don't know if anyone's ever done this. I'm sure they have. I've never seen it. Yeah, they fucking have. They have. They, yeah, they have. They completely fucking have. And it's not just been for makeup. My husband used to keep his lighters in them. In, in, in one of those. A candy dish. Yeah. I hate to tell you. 
I actually knew a, high, a guy in high school who kept his half-used roaches in there. And I'm not talking about the bugs. One of my friends, she used to keep those little fucking uh, two shadow makeup things that only had the two colors of shadow. She used to keep them in there. Yeah. Candy dishes and fish bowls. Those were the two things that mainly got used for fucking makeup. Yeah. It's because we're broke. We're broke ass people. Fish bowls, candy dishes, and Tupperware dishes. It's the best things to fucking keep your makeup in. And strangely, medication. Best things ever to keep your shit in. We do it a lot here. So. Don't act like you just thought about that shit. And also, back in the day, the swingers, when they go to a swingers party, people start drinking, you had to keep your fucking keys in the fucking candy dish because you weren't driving home. Yeah. A lot of people put shit in candy bowls, dude. You didn't think about it. Well, you thought about it this time, but you weren't the first to think about it. So settle down. You're not Magellan. But I like to think outside of the box, like how I did with that and this. I'm sure a lot of people have done this, but um, yeah, this is a candy jar. So all you have to do, if you're interested in doing it this way, is type in a candy jar on Amazon and a lot pop up. But I figured this one was perfect. It's easy to find my lipsticks. Um, ah. Uh, I'm just so happy because I always wanted a spot to just like sit and do my makeup and stuff and I'm right by a window and it's just honestly so perfect and I'm so happy with these purchases. I buy some weird stuff you guys and this has to be probably the best purchases I've made in a while because it's just, it just looks good. So this is every single piece of makeup that I own and now that I see it all out like this I actually don't have as much as like I thought and as much as y'all thought I do have a lot of lipsticks <laughs> even Becky pointed that out but like eyeshadows it's a pretty decent amount but yeah I really don't have that much and I get rid of some randomly because I do have those uh makeup subscription boxes Baby Huey, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna just gonna tell you this real slow so you can understand. Most makeup can says it's you know good up to a year. Most people use it pretty much fine for two, maybe three. Okay, with as much makeup as you got there, you will not be using all of that makeup. We're gonna say for two years. There's no way just you can use all of that makeup. So you will be throwing away makeup that is that is, won't even be used by you. There will be shit when you throw it away that'll be unused. Yeah. So when you say, I don't have as much makeup as a you or I thought I did is the dumbest thing ever to say. Having a couple makeup palettes is, um, a couple eyeshadow palettes is, is fine. Because, I mean, I have city colors, which is blues and purples, and then I have one of the Jaclyn Hill palettes. It's got all sorts of colors. That is all I need. That's it. That's all I need. Now, I share that with my daughter. And we still haven't used some of the colors in it. And we're getting close to not being able to use it all. Seriously. It is exceedingly wasteful with as much shit as you get on that table. 
Now, if you're sharing it with Becky, you still couldn't do it. But Becky doesn't wear makeup, and you haven't been wearing makeup either. That's a waste of plastic, cardboard, and makeup. Oh, wait, I know you don't care about the environment. Anyways, I'm like rambling, but this is just like ideas. Something else that I recently got is this marbled tabletop. It's just a side table with this cute little plant. Um, I love greenery and plants. Um, I prefer them to be fake because I will tell you right now, if I had a real one, they would die, which is just the truth. So <laughs> yeah, um, I actually got these from Walmart. Um, the Walmart near us does not have this type of stuff, but there's a Walmart that's farther away and it has like really like modern, cute section where I found these things. I wanted to buy the whole section, <laughs> but yeah, it's just so cute. So you drove farther away to get to another Walmart to buy that crap, but you couldn't drive out of your way to take Twinkie to the goddamn vet when she's fucking sitting there shaking in pain? Wow, that fucking says a lot about you. You wanted to go by a shitty side table, but you couldn't take your dog to an emergency vet. Wow. You got your priorities straight. Absolutely. Wow. And why, why, why can't you just get living pets? My son's 14 years old and he has a pet. He has a plant. And that shit is not dead yet. And he is a fucking programmer. Those kids barely leave their room. He literally barely speaks English. It's something like grunts and snacking noises. We're lucky he bathes. He's attached to his computer for most hours of the day. We're lucky he goes to school. Because it interferes with him programming. He can keep a plan alive. And He's basically part of a computer. Part computer. Hey guys, so it's actually the next day. Oh my God, what do I have on my arm? <laughs> Becky and I have been cleaning for like the last hour. So that's a thing. But anyways, so I just want to say that I watched every single episode of Amy Slayton and Tammy, Tammy Slayton's um, show. And in each episode, I laughed and I cried. I, I did a lot of laughing and I did a lot of crying. Um, their story reminded me a lot of my own. Um, my heart goes out to them both and I'm proud of them both. I know everyone's journey is going to be so different. So, oh, hi babe. Hey. Living your best life? Yeah. <laughs> um, I know everyone's journey is going to be so different. So it was fun to see um, sisters go on a journey together. And it was just, it was thoroughly enjoyable to watch. And I kind of just wanted to give them a shout out because like I was on the emotional roller coaster with them and I'm so proud of their accomplishments. I really hope for a season two. I wish the first season was longer. I feel like they could have tons of seasons. Like if I was the producer or something, yeah, because they're entertaining in all the good ways. But yeah. I'm super proud of you guys. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that. And you guys are definitely an inspiration to me. So, good job. Oh, that was a crack of bullshit. <laughs> oh, wow. She did not mean that. Hello, Willow Davis here. So it is Valentine's Day and I wanted to show you what Becky got me. This cute little bear 
This says, Be My Valentine. I am obsessed with Ariel. She's actually my favorite. So she got me this really pretty, like, it's like a painting, but it's on glass. And it has a little stand so you don't have to hang it up. I love that. And my most favorite flowers, roses and baby's breath. Oh. So. She got y'all that nice shit. You still ain't going bag and rag that girl's Rufio, are you? What did you get her? Probably jack shit, nothing. You better bag and rag that woman's Rufio. Becky deserves it. Better double click that chick's mouse. You better take her to a pound town. Loved her ham wallet. Taking her downtown to Pleasure Town. Jammed her clam. Eager to reave her. I'm just saying. Girl deserves it. She puts up with a lot of shit from you. Yeah. Hey guys, so sorry it's a little dark in here, but it's actually two days after Valentine's Day. I have been a fail vlogger. Um, What's new? For a while there, I was just doing mukbangs because they were easier to do, in my opinion. And I don't know if you guys remember in the video... Um, it was a vlog from maybe a couple months ago or just like a month. I don't even know. I'm bad with timelines. But I wasn't taking my mood stabilizer because I told you guys that they wouldn't give me a refill because I need to see the nurse and it was like this whole thing. So my mood was very low. I haven't been in the mood to like vlog but since I was doing mukbangs, I had all these mukbangs I could still upload. And while I was uploading those, I've actually been having some glorious days. I went to the mall other day, the other day and I actually walked around. I went into stores and I'm like super proud of myself. But I want to be completely transparent. Um, me and Eric do streaks on Snapchat. And wherever we are, we'll take a picture. We'll send it. You guys know how streaks work. And when we were at the mall, Eric took a picture of me because we'll do that sometimes. Like if we're near each other, we'll like take funny photos of each other or just like a regular photo, like it doesn't even matter. So for his streak towards me, he took a picture of me. And when he does that, like he doesn't look at me and think of me as like a big person. Like he looks at me like I'm his friend, you know? So to him, it didn't mean anything. But when I saw the photo, I was like... <sighs> The best word I could describe it is like, I just feel like grotesque and it really put into perspective like the damage I've done to my body and my lymphedema has completely made me not even look like a human anymore and it's kind of like low-key scary and it's sad. I've also met three subscribers in the last five days so that's... That's like a record as of recently. And you guys, all three of you have been tremendously sweet. So if you're watching this, thank you so much for coming up to me. Always makes me really happy. So yeah, I've just been like. I looked at myself and the only way to describe it is that I'm grotesque. I've seen what I've done to my body. And it dawned on me. But I, find, I I met three subscribers in the past few days, so if they're watching, hey, what's up? Why do you do that? Why do you always do that? It's like the second people start realizing you're actually a human being that they can sympathize with, that they have empathy for, because you are speaking from the heart, you turn to... It's basically a toddler within 3.2 seconds. And then you make them remember that they're speaking to a toddler. Because for a second there, I completely understood that you, you know, you probably did see yourself that way and it made you extremely self-conscious and I could understand why that would make you feel that way. And then you said that shit about subscribers, and I'm like, never fucking mind, I remember why. I don't give a shit anymore. I just don't give a shit anymore. 
Can you ever just be normal? Hanging out with friends. I've gone to the doctor four times in the last two weeks. Um, I've seen my psychiatrist. And it's just like I've done a lot. And I'm just like not vlogging it. And I think I'm done with the mukbangs. They were helping me eat slow, get full faster. I eat alone already. So it's like it was nice having someone to talk to while I eat. But it's not what you guys want to see from me. So that is why I'm not going to do them anymore. So obviously they didn't really help out too much. They didn't really serve a purpose of, they didn't help. They didn't really serve a purpose of, of any emotional reason, any physical reason. You just liked eating on camera. That's not serving a purpose. This swayed not, the, the mukbangs did not sway your health either for or against you in any way with the mukbangs. Probably against you, but you just didn't see it. You just wanted to eat on camera. So I'm gonna go back to vlogs. <laughs> They're gonna be super boring. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to try my hardest to do more vlogging. And I want you guys also to know, random, I haven't worn makeup in almost 50 days. So it's been almost two months that I have not put on a single ounce of makeup. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but like it looks like I'm getting like eyebrows. I used to have like no hair up there. And like <laughs> I'm getting hair up there now. I don't even know. Okay, 50 days is a long time, which proves my point about you have too much makeup for the amount of time that you wear makeup isn't sufficient enough to basically justify you having that much fucking makeup. Two, yes, hair grows on a human being and each human being has hair on their body. You can shave it off, sweetheart, but it grows back. You can pluck it, but it comes back. You can wax it, and it comes back. So, I don't know whether you thought you were playing peekaboo with your eyebrows or not. Even if you didn't find them, and, you know, tag them as them being it, they're still going to grow back on your eyebrows, even if you couldn't find them and you're still it. They still have to return to your forehead anyways. I don't know why you're surprised by this. They have to come out of their hiding space and return to your forehead, even if the game's not over yet. I shouldn't have to, I shouldn't have to describe this to you, dumbass. I mean, where does she think her hair on her eyebrows went? Cross-country skiing? For fuck's sake, their eyebrows. I mean, she think they went on a trip to Europe to find themselves? Before they start college? I mean, what the fuck? What it will... Mm. Where, do you, where, where would your eyebrows have gone? When do you think they suck back up inside of you? You probably went with the early eyelids, whatever the fuck you were saying for. As you got larger, your eyelids shrunk. Do you think because you got larger, your, eye, your eyebrows just like sucked right up inside you? That's another reason you had to lose weight. You wanted your eyelids back and you wanted your eyebrows to come back. I'm so confused by this fucking logic. Weird. Sorry, I just had to put my hair up real quick because I was, the fan was on, my hair was down, living my life. But when I started filming, I turned the fan off, so. I didn't want the fan to be super annoying, but now 
that the fan's off. Shut up about the fan. Just move on. Fan, 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 fan. I'm a little, you know, um, I just have like this little fan up. I need a little bit of air. But um, what was I even like talking about? I remember now. I wanted to say that I have been back on my mood stabilizer. I think it's been about two weeks and I already feel so much better on it. Honestly, I was diagnosed with depression my whole life. And now that I was diagnosed being bipolar, which was the right diagnosis, it has honestly changed my life because like all the antidepressants I was taking like never worked for me at all. And now that I'm on a mood stabilizer, I just, it honestly works so well. Sometimes I like cry about it because I'm so grateful because it was, it was hard. Like who I was like off the mood stabilizer, like that was my normal. So it's like, I almost felt like that's how I was supposed to feel on a daily basis. But now that I'm like getting better with seeing a psychiatrist and being on medicine, it's like, oh, that's how I'm supposed to feel. And also, regarding me being anemic and, oh God, <laughs> I feel like I have so much I have to talk about. So I got my labs, like my lab results where I see all my numbers and I asked her, can I keep the paper? Because I'm curious because I'm also getting labs done in like a month and a half. So I wanna see if like the things that were kind of off, which was me being anemic, and um, my vitamin D, I wanna see if like how much better they get since I am doing iron pills for me being anemic and then also for the vitamin D, I'm taking 50,000 milligrams once a week. <laughs> I like how she's talking about how horrible it is to have to take an iron supplement and that vitamin D shit. Right? <clears throat> it's gotta be so, so horrible for her to have to take a supplement in 5,000 milligrams once a week. That's every day. Why is she bitching again? But your vitamin D is supposed to be between 30 to 100. I'm so embarrassed to say mine. Mine's four. Look at Twinkie. <laughs> but mine was four. And I know it's because I don't get out in the sun a lot. I don't eat a lot of foods with vitamin D in it. But she told me, she was like naming off all these things that your body feels while you're low in vitamin D. And she, she was like, just wait until your vitamin D is normal. You're going to feel drastically better. And I was just like, oh my God, because also like this has been my normal, like being low in vitamin D, like I'm always fatigued and like I just feel, you know, and like, I kind of can't wait for that feeling to be gone and it just feels really good like trying to get these things taken care of and it just feels really good like getting my mental better my physical health and i don't know i noticed a difference already but that's just me <laughs> hey guys so it is the next day i do want to say i'm struggling with some major chapped lips so i actually ordered off of amazon it's like a nighttime repair and it's like a lot of good reviews on it. People who had such cracked lips, they were bleeding. Haven't reached that point. Um, and they said that it works literally overnight. So I cannot wait for that to come in. But I wanted to show you guys the iron gummies I am currently using. Sorry, the animals are like having the time of their life right now playing with each other. It's so cute. It makes me so happy. But I wanted to show you the gummies that I'm using. I got them off of Amazon. I was trying to find an iron gummy with multivitamins instead of multivitamins with iron. 
because I wanted the main focus main focus to be iron. So a lot of great reviews. This is Vita Raw. No, not sponsored, but it's Vita Raw Iron Gummies with multivitamins. That's what it looks like. You take two a day. I've been doing it for like a week. They're disgusting. I'm just gonna flat out tell you guys right now if you decide to get them, they are disgusting. You literally taste the iron in it, which I'm sure is very normal for an iron gummy or whatever. Um, my doctor actually told me to do gummy over pill because pills can sometimes upset people's stomach, especially if they aren't used to them. Oh my God, uh, do you hear the little tic tac? That's Trixie and Chubbs and Twinkie. It warms my heart when they play together. Like Chubbs and Twinkie last night was so cute. There's this like big toy with like several different arms and one of them had one side and the other had the other side and they were like tugging it with each other but they were like trying to be gentle. It was really funny. Anyways, you can definitely taste the iron in this. I do recommend it um, just for the fact that the reviews are amazing. So far so good. I seem to be doing fine. I haven't gotten an upset stomach from it or anything like that. Oh my God, I can't do any more. She makes it sound like the iron supplement's gonna make her whole body explode into a fiery ball of terror. Fucking hell. It's an iron supplement, bitch. The only thing that's gonna do wrong is it may make your poop turn black. I've been on it a lot. It's a whole other thing. But yeah. Worst thing is it's gonna make your poo turn black. I don't know if it'll do that with gummies. <sighs> what is wrong with her? She's such a crybaby. But yep, yeah, but she's the one who started an entire trend of putting shit on cake trays. Oh no, it wasn't. It was homes and gardens. <laughs> she is just fucking trying so hard to make a trend start, isn't she? To be the one who started every trend home decor. I'm sorry, bitch. Stop trying to make fetch happen. It ain't gonna work. Constantly. Constantly. She does have way too much makeup. And then she was proud to say I haven't, had, I haven't worn makeup in over 50 days. Okay? What do you want, a fucking cookie and a prize? Like, I don't know what she's, I don't know what she wants. I, maybe she wants hand clappies and cookies. You got me. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I didn't. She's weird. Like, subscribe, share. But if you don't, that's fine. I'll still be here sitting in front of this camera, talking to myself, and eating an entire bottle of Johnny Gummy Iron Supplements till my crap turns black as coal. And then I'm gonna put it in JD's stocking at Christmas. Oh, one other thing I have to tell you guys this. JD has gotten so senile that I can't light my pumpkin, my bourbon pumpkin spice candle because he keeps trying to eat it while it's lit. Shit you not. I feel bad for him. <laughs> He's trying to do it twice already. Uh, like he gets this close to the flame if you don't watch him. He tries to eat the candle. I feel so bad for him. And he has also forgotten every bit of his training. So he walks up and he'll take food out of your hand if you don't pay attention. He, he's at that senile level of just don't give a fuck. Yeah, he don't, he, he's at that point where he just doesn't care. He's just not bothered by anything. He's like, oh, I'll take that sandwich right out your hand. That half was mine, you just didn't know it yet. <laughs> well, anyways, this is the 
video for today. Hang up your happy faces. Don't get anything on them. Especially blood. What is with you people? Ugh. I don't even want to know where you get it from. Honestly. Just don't. Don't describe it. Don't want to know. Seriously, people. Don't tell me. <sighs> Thank you for coming to the show. Make sure to tip your wagers. I'll be here all week. And deuces.